So one of the most rewarding things any gardener can do is to grow his own food. And today we're going to look at one of the fruits that you can actually grow in your garden. And this is Grenadilla or passion fruit. And the name passion fruit is derived from the botanical name of this plant, which is called Passiflora edulis. So the Passiflora is the passion fruit. Edulis means it's edible. My name is Jan Libbinger. I'm from Bark and Limited Organics. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to plant a passion fruit plant and how to care for it. Refresh your garden with the Bark Unlimited range of top quality organic products. Bark Unlimited Organics. Refresh nature. So our passion fruit plant is a tropical plant and it needs a nice hot climate. Preferably frost free or if you do get frost, if you can plant it in a sheltered spot, it will survive. And you can see by the uh, way this plant grows, this is a climber and you will see these um, growths that comes from the plant actually curls up like that. So once it grabs onto a wire or a fence or a trellis, it will actually curl around the fence or the trellis and it will support the plant and this will grow vigorously. This is a very vigorous grower and you can see um, there is the, a, a flower starting, it's still in a very young stage and this will grow into a big flower, uh, purple and white and yellow. It's one of the most beautiful flowers that you can see uh, which will eventually develop into a fruit about the size of a golf ball, maybe slightly bigger and once it turns purple it's ready for harvest. So this plant needs a fence or some stringed wire on a wall or a trellis to grow onto and we're going to show you today we've prepared a spot in our garden a spot which uh, is uh, unusable for anything else and we're going to grow our passion fruit on a, a wire trellis so we're here in a part of our garden where we've got a very small space between a container uh, for storage and our electric fence we've switched off the fence for the video and uh, I've taken this weld mesh and tied it to this container and this will be to support our granadella plant or our passion fruit plant and uh, we've got two passion fruit plants here and this will cover this whole mesh in no time so uh, they like i've said they're very vigorous growers and this is a part of the garden we can't really use um, for anything else so this is ideal to plant these plants. So what we will do is uh, we'll divide this up into uh, basically four equal parts and then plant the one plant on one half of the uh, mesh and the other plant on the other half of the mesh. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and dig a nice hole under the trellis. So we're digging the second hole for the second plant. Okay, so our soil preparation is of vital importance and uh, we need to add some compost to the soil and we're going to take a small bag of compost and, and uh, add it to the soil that we dug out of the hole and we're also going to take a nice big handful of our bark unlimited crawl manure and you can see this is good stuff only one handful and we're going to do the other one as well do the crawl manure and also do the compost Okay, and then it's also important that we add some bone meal for the phosphate content and that will be for the root development of the plants and we will just use one handful like this per plant and we're going to mix this into the soil that came out of the hole 
and fill it back when we're planting our plant. So what we need to do now is just mix this through. And you can see how the compost actually disappears in the soil and it almost looks like we've put in too little but this is more than enough to sustain one of these passion fruit plants and we'll just mix the other one right so planting a passion fruit plant is slightly different from planting a normal plant uh, normally what we would do is we will fill back some of the soil level it out and then put our plant in it and fill it back to the original level of um, the soil in the bag and the, that level and this level should be the soil level should be the same but because passion fruit plants have a tendency to get root rot and um, we want to plant them slightly on a, on a bit of a mound on top of the uh, natural soil level so i'm basically going to fill back more of the soil in this hole press down on it slightly and then we're going to take the bag off and it's best to tear the bag off don't cut into it with a knife because you will damage the root, the root system so basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to place the plant like that and you'll see it's much higher than the normal ground level so we're actually going to again just fill up around the plant we're going to take all the soil that we dug out the hole plus our compost and our crawl manure and our bone meal mix and we're going to find the natural level of the plant and build like a little mound around it like that and just for the sake for it to have a, a bit of a dam to hold the water we're just going to do it like that and you can see that's the natural there's the natural soil level of the bag so we're not planting it deeper we're not burying the plant um, but this is a little bit raised so uh, it will get better drainage and therefore the chances of it getting root rot is very slim and um, what we can do now is see if we can untangle all these branches and spread them out on our mesh so that it can grow in, the, in, in different directions um, these are the vigorous growing plants and um, they will cover this mesh in no time it's just a bit of a hassle to get them untangled because of um, the way they've actually grown and um, the way the these little these little springs these little hooks they tend to grab onto each other and hold for dear life so then we can start putting this through the mesh and this this will actually turn around the mesh like that by itself if you come back in a few days from now you will see that um, the plant is actually grabbed onto the mesh and it will hold onto the mesh so we can just put that like that in the first couple of days or weeks we can come here and just assist the plant um, a little bit and then later on you can leave it and it will um, you see this one is too short to reach there so in a few days I will just come back and um, just hook it over the mesh so that's our first one 
and now we can do the second one and again we're going to fill back the hole so that the plant is not at the same depth as our natural soil level and again we'll tear the bag off don't cut the bag off because then we damage the roots and we're going to place it on top of that soil again and again take our soil mix all the nice compost and the crawl manure and the bone meal and we're going to get it all close to the root system of the plant so that it can benefit from the nutrients that's in it and just firm it down get to our soil level of the bag we don't want to bury the plant to its neck only to the same level that it was in the bag and then again make a little dam around the plant for when you water it that the water gets to the root system and then we can again unravel these branches and um, and put them through the mesh so that it can grow up the mesh So apart from all the nice compost, crawl manure and bone meal that we've added to the soil before we planted the plants, I'm going to use the 232 from Talbon Organics which is a certified organic fertilizer as a top up fertilizer and this will aid the plant in the general growth of the plant. So we first want these plants to cover most of our mesh and once they start flowering we will go on to the Vita fruit and flower which will promote the flowering and fruit formation on the plants but for now we just want lush growth on the plant so I'm just going to take a nice handful like that and sprinkle it around the plant and a nice handful for this one and this fertilizer is amazing it releases over a 12 week period so for the next three months we don't have to add more fertilizer to this plant the other thing that remains to be done is to mulch and the nice thing about the mulch is we can cover around the plant around the stem around the root system so that the plant doesn't dry out too quickly and that weed seeds don't uh, blow in and germinate and we're just gonna empty a couple of bags of mulch around the plant and this is bark mulch from Bark Unlimited Organics and we're going to put a nice thick layer of bark and you can see I'm even covering the little dam that I've made if we water this um, the dam will still hold water it's, it's, it's under the mulch now and that should be adequate and we will do the same with the other plant we'll do the mulching around it and eventually i'll mulch this whole area to keep the moisture in and to suppress any weeds from growing so if you like this video and found the information useful please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to visit our website for more information on our other products and on gardening tips Refresh your garden with the Bark Unlimited range of top quality organic products. Bark Unlimited Organics. Refresh nature.